Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back again with the tips this week. Uh, let's just quickly go over my last round tips. I got six out of nine. Um, I've gotten, I think that's my standard score uh, over the last month. Um, went through a really, really rough patch with the tips and I've gone back to just being just okay. Six out of nine is the standard. I feel uh, it's just an okay round of tipping. Um, yeah, let's just get straight into the round 11 tips. We're going to try and make this a quick one today. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time on my hands. Uh, let's let's try and get it under 10 minutes. I've been going for, I've been aiming to get under 10 minutes the last, I don't know how many weeks, but it, it never happens. Let's get it under 10 minutes today. All right, kicking things off Thursday night, the Bulldogs taking on my boys, the Swans. The Dogs, they're back into some form. It's a home game at Marvel Stadium. But I really, I can't tip against the Swans at the moment. We're, we're going too well for me to do that. Uh, we've won, what, our last our last five now, um, ever since that Richmond loss, which is, I don't know how we managed to lose that game. It's, it's one of football's greatest mysteries. I know that they um, had a few players back that game. Uh, their injury list wasn't quite as long as it is now. But still, how did we lose that game? Anyway, I'll tip us to win this one by, let's go, 24 points. I have confidence that we'll uh, win this. I feel like we've had a decent record at Marvel Stadium in recent times. The Dogs, um, they're very inconsistent week to week. They're in some good form now. That doesn't mean they'll be in good form in a couple weeks' time. Friday night, Frio taking on Collingwood. This one's at Optus Stadium, um, so it could be an interesting matchup. Fremantle haven't really beaten any really quality opposition yet. Uh, Collingwood are on a really good run now. They have they haven't lost one since their 0-3 start. They have had the one draw against Essendon, but they are in some ripping form. I, I, I kind of want to tip Fremantle, but I just don't trust them enough. So I have to go with the Pies in this one, even though it's a home game for Fremantle. I think the Pies will still get the job done. They're back to their... Uh, premiership winning best they yeah they really look like they have everything um, everything going well their system their structure their belief uh, their willingness their want to win um, and when the pies have all of that it's hard to tip against them North Melbourne versus Port uh, this one's at Blundstone Arena so you'll be lucky to get 5,000 attending this game uh, no. <coughs> Sorry, the bit of an almond shell just killed me. Um, yeah, it should be a pretty simple tip, this one. North Melbourne played better last week. Still don't see them getting anywhere near Port. Uh, you'd think that Port would want to come out and start off, uh, start this game off strong, unlike what they did against Hawthorne, where they had to play catch-ups. Uh, somehow won that game in the last 30 seconds. Two goals in the final minute of the game is insane. Uh, I think they'll get the job done a bit easier in this one. North, uh, they might make it competitive for maybe a quarter, but I think, yeah, Port by 63 points. Carlton Gold Coast, so a Carlton home game. Gold Coast yet to win away from home. Um, I'm going to count Darwin as a home game for uh, Gold Coast. They've played up there the last few years now. Um, they've played well in Darwin as well. The, the conditions really suit them. Uh, obviously, the Gold Coast is much more humid than, say, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth. Um, so the humid conditions up in Darwin definitely suits Gold Coast. Um, they've had it as a home game for a few years now. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they go coming from those conditions down to Melbourne, where it's a bit colder and chillier. So I, I think Carlton uh, rebound. Poor loss against Sydney. I don't think Michael Voss will put up with that. And I think Carlton win this one by 38 points. They'll bounce back strong um, and, yeah, really get a hold of Gold Coast. Geelong versus GWS. This one is at the Cattery. So you'd almost put down uh, Geelong for an automatic win normally. However, even though the Giants aren't in the best of form right now, they do have a good record at GMHBA Stadium. That being said, I I don't think I can bring myself to tip the Giants in this one. 
Uh, Geelong would want to get back on the winners list. They'll have Tom Hawkins and I believe also Jeremy Cameron back this week. I still think their best is good enough to contend for the Premiership. Um, maybe not. Or we'll go. Yeah, it'll be a close game. We'll go 12 points. I think they should bounce back and snap their three-game losing streak. Dream time at the G, Richmond versus Essendon. Um, normally, you, there'd be a bit of in, intrigue going into this matchup. Last time, Essendon snapped a what, like 15-game losing streak against Richmond, um, and perhaps it's time for them to go on a bit of a, a winning streak against the Tigers. Because uh, yeah, Richmond right now, I don't see them winning any games anytime soon. They should be a little bit more competitive than they have been the last two weeks um, considering it is a very big matchup however I don't with the injuries that they have right now I don't see them getting anywhere near this one uh, Bombers by 63 we move on to the Sunday games now Marvel Stadium Hawthorne taking on Brisbane uh, Hawthorne they've been very good the last three weeks two wins and one incredibly close heartbreaking loss they're clearly uh, on the up in their rebuild. Uh, I think it's time to get excited if you are a Hawks fan about that young talent. Um, and I think they'll take it right up to the Lions in this one. But Brisbane will want to really... Uh, they're out to save their season. Another loss here and that probably spells 2024 done and dusted for them. Um, even with the injuries that they do have, I think they'll just get over the line against... Hawthorne. I reckon this will be a close one though. I'll go the Lions by four points. Melbourne versus Saints. I feel like this is a pretty simple tip. Um, well, Melbourne have lost their last couple and did have a particularly bad loss against the Eagles, but St Kilda just don't look like going anywhere at the moment. I think Melbourne should bounce back, win this one comfortably. We'll go by 41 points. Um, gee, that's not 71. That's uh, that's 71. Um, see, yeah, I. I Melbourne have to win this game if they want to be in the hunt for top four, um, and I think they will do yeah, quite easily. Final game of the round, Adelaide versus West Coast. Um, this matchup last year at Adelaide Oval resulted in a 122 point win for the Crows. Tex kicked 10, I think it's going to be a very different looking match this time round. Uh, the Eagles will come to play for sure, um, they'll probably take it up to the Crows, but you'd think that with the season on the line, the Crows, they have to get the job done in this one. It'll be it'll be close. I'll go 10 points uh, to be the margin. Um, and it should be an entertaining game. But the Crows, they absolutely have to win. And I, I think they will get the job done. Because the Eagles, they haven't been very good away from home. Uh, and that is round 11 over and done with. So just take a look at the ladder. Uh, Sydney's still a game and a half clear on top of the ladder. Port Adelaide back up into the top three. Uh, Geelong also eight and three in fourth position. Collingwood around the mark for the top four as well. Same with Melbourne and Carlton. It's a very close race for that uh, fourth position there. GWS into eighth spot. Fremantle, Gold Coast just outside on six and five. Brisbane 5-5-1 five, five and one in 11th and would go down to the Dogs and Adelaide, St Kilda and then this top five, uh, sorry this bottom five little section of the ladder here is uh, uh, probably a bit behind the rest of the pack, Saints, Hawthorne, West Coast all uh, on 3 and 8, Richmond 1 and 10 and North Melbourne I still have winless. So that is the, the tips for round 11 uh, done and dusted for me. Uh, let me know your tips down in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe if you did enjoy this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.